physical culture. Well, we never get enough, it would seem. No, that's right. Particularly uh, these days, apparently, we, we all need to get out and get more active. Yeah, well, officially known as Fizzy, it's a uniquely Australian organisation that fuses dance and sport. Well, beloved by many, this year marks the 125th anniversary of physical culture. For more, we're joined by director Candice Wolfson and Fizzy girl Lara Sloggett. Welcome to you both. Thank you so much for taking time to come and speak to us. Of course, 125 years, that's a wonderful milestone and you've been celebrating. Tell us about what happened here in Sydney yesterday? Well, last night, 1,800 performers from six states in Australia performed at Kudo Serena, yeah. and Lara was one amongst those yeah. girls <laughs> and women. And then yeah. what are the, how did you celebrate? Obviously, doing a bit of physical activity. Yeah, so we had a performance and everyone had their own little part in it, and it was amazing, yeah. Well, we, what we did was showcase from 1892 to present day and also hopefully future trends. Wonderful. So, I mean, it's it's amazing when we think that when you research physical culture, physi, you see it has a great presence in Australia, but there are still so many of us that don't really know much about it. So just explain to us, Ken, um, a little bit about the fact that this is a homegrown Australian um, dance form, sport. I mean, that's yeah. part of the, the, the interest yeah. around it, isn't it? Is that it encompasses yeah. so much, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so well, originally it came from a Danish family who migrated to Tasmania and their principle was uh, to have a healthy mind, you need to feed and make strong a healthy body. So they opened it up, they had their wives and their, their own family, women, as well as the men, participate in doing calisthenics is another word for it, and fencing and posture and breathing. So it's sort of very much a European tradition. Absolutely. Yeah. Rhythmic, uh, rhythm, uh, eurythmy is one of the other names for it. And also physical culture, the name itself, is quite common in uh, Europe. Okay, so it has been around for 125 mm. years. I may ask, though, what happened to the blokes? <laughs> <laughs> were there any boys with you last night? Um, there were some celebrating the older years yeah. of dads, but not in the modern times, no. Mm. Yeah, they said, would be the supportive fizzy husbands, brothers. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, you, said, you said at the outset there that it was for both men and women, boys and girls. Indeed. So, So why did... Why did it come for, for just sort of girls and, and women? Uh, what happened was we were in schools and we were also in the cadets, uh, as well as uh, the workhouse, uh, work factories and work sites like insurances. And what happened was that the schools withdrew from that program and of course that community that was with the manufacturing and the business houses also um, faded away. So we actually had to restructure ourselves for survival uh, in, in certain aspects and we found that there was a, a lot of interest from young women uh, and girls who still wanted to dance. And one thing about physical culture is it is not expensive. So, and we still push that through. We're not for profit organisation. So the cost for fizzy in a family, that's why we actually we're resurging because the cost of living is so high these days. All right, so Lara, tell us about your love affair with fizzy. You love it, obviously. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> How did you get involved? How passionate are you? Is this something that you make part of your week? Yeah, so I started five years ago and I do it twice a week, sometimes three times a week, and I love it. Everything about Fizzy is so amazing. Every, yeah, just everything. So it, you're obviously a member of a club then. Do you do, you, what, do, you do it at the local gym? How does it work? Yes, yeah, so I'm a member of Mossman Fizzy and I just it's very local. It's just a five minute walk away. Yeah, so I just go every Tuesday and Saturday. Yeah. Well, and, and, and are you, you among friends there? Is this quite popular among your circle? Yes, yeah? definitely. Yeah, I have heaps of girls from my school do it, heaps of girls that I know from like just family members and everything. Yeah. But is it something that you anticipate you would do until you're very old? Obviously, oh, you were saying yes. here that <laughs> grandmothers are doing it along mm -hmm. with their, their granddaughters. So yeah. you, you anticipate you'll you'll take that path. Definitely, as old as I can get, yeah. There were many ladies there yesterday and I hope to be like them when I'm older. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And I mean, you were mentioning, um, Candice, that this isn't an expensive thing to do. And I think that's primarily because it is supported by such a, a yes. cohort of volunteers who are that's passionate, right. devoted. That is a very good description. Thanks, Miriam. Uh, it's true. Uh, I was introduced, my mother was a teacher. She's 91 this year and she's still doing her physique. I teach, I also am in my class, and my daughter was also doing fizzy and she's 29. So that is a real joy to be across all those generations, have something in common. 
It's a wonderful way to make your way into the new area if you move. You go to a yeah, physics club definitely. and you break into that social scene with either your children or um, that extended family that is part of Fizzy, as well as having fun. That is really important. Yeah, and Candice, <laughs> um, we hear today, obviously, about the problem with obesity mm. and uh, that um, you know, kids in particular are just not getting out and doing enough physical activity. Are you perhaps surprised that, that this isn't more popular and it's not being pushed more as a way of, uh, of kids, well, obviously for girls, to get out and, and get some activity? Well, we've had a 30% increase in our uh, membership in the last five years, and I think it's because social media has helped get the word out. It's very hard to break into and advertise and get out there into the general community. And I have to say, um, social media has helped us yes. get our message out there across the board. So is that how you found out about it? Yes, yeah, so I actually found out from one of my friends and I went to just a holiday workshop and ever since then I have been in love with it, yeah. Can you just, <laughs> Laura, give us a bit more of a sense of what you actually do when you, when you turn up for a session? Okay, so well it's a mix of jazz, hip hop, contemporary, aerobics and ballet and I'll just show up and then there's five different dance forms that you'll be able to do and yeah, it's just a mixed class of girls in your same age group as you. Do you need to have some understanding of dance, be trained at all? And, and no, dance at all? not at all. Yeah, there's beginners all the way up to advanced girls, like there's so, everyone can do it, yeah. Okay, and what about those of us who might be a little bit unco? <laughs> is there a place, well, to, maybe a help out in a support capacity? Yeah. <laughs> our, our attitude is we'll get everyone to dance. Yeah. You know, by the end of your, your year, with a year, fizzy year, we, and that's what is really important, that even if you're unco, you will be able to dance to this music mm. by the end. Yeah. You know, and so we encourage novices. Yeah. And is, I, I see that um, it's an activity which obviously incorporates a team sort of spirit you you mm. perform as part of a group but is there also uh, an aspect which is um, competitive say if, if you perform as an individual is, is that part of fizzy culture as well or oh, is that yes. a there's, separate strand no no there's two strands that yeah. run in parallel so there's individual competitions and there's also a team competition and I think that's what's really important you can be great but the teams make everyone great. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And I have to say, that's a sort of Australian thing. I mean, if you're into working in a group, it's a great skill to develop because work is about working in a group. And we sort of encourage...